Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting accustomed to a new job. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, how do I get as a junior accustomed to a new job? Or how do I settle into my role at a new job? So this is a good question and it is of course a very sensitive topic for a lot of people how to fit in and like all you have all this pressure you have all these concerns about am I fast you mean the most common ones for a junior is number number one absolutely number one is am I fast enough am I good enough do people you know enjoy working with me etc 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 right so the way that at least I believe that you should achieve this, is to start by getting yourself a buddy. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I basically mean that your survival at a new company stands in direct proportion to how fast that you can produce results. Now, one thing that is extremely important to remember here is that when I say produce results, that does not mean that you are the best programmer or that you are the fastest programmer or that you even write good software. What I'm saying is that the context that you find yourself in is going to dictate the perception of the people have of you. Now this is a tricky thing. You see, in one, in one place, in one company, they may have a very rigorous testing process, they might go for high quality, it's extremely important that they write working flawless software, they might be almost religious about unit testing and in another company they literally hack every single story together, the code base is a complete fucking mess but they ship in the, the same day pretty much. And this is the hard part about being a programmer, especially in the beginning of things when you haven't had all that many jobs and you haven't really seen the world, where you don't really know what's right and what's wrong and you try, and this is why I've warned quite a lot of people, that it is great to be an idealist in some cases and really try to strive for good practices, but you have to throw those out the window if it stands between those practices and you keeping keeping your employment because the sad fact is that not everybody's building the next you know Mars rover they're not building a sophisticated system that needs to have all the things and all the bells and the whistles they literally make a living from crappy software that they just need to ship very quickly speed is more important than anything else and unless you can figure out where you are and what context you find yourself you are going to go in with the wrong mindset i have been here myself i have tried to be extremely good at testing and quality and so forth in a company that did that they didn't give a shit about this they said that they did but it was much more important that things were very quick, like that things just worked as quickly as possible. So when I say that you need to get a buddy, what I mean is that you need to get a friend. You need to befriend someone at that company who is what I call a domain expert or well, what most people would call a domain expert. And a domain expert is simply an individual at that company who knows more about the system than you. In the beginning of things, that's going to be fairly straightforward because you're completely fresh. But as you progress, you're going to have to befriend more and more domain experts. So the reason why you want to do this, apart from, of course, making new friends, is that you need to get some people, like ideally the people who all your coworkers, the senior experiences of that company, invested in your personal success. If they don't give a shit about you and they don't, you don't have anybody to ask for help or they don't really care how it goes for you, you are very, very likely going to face some problems at that, at that place of work, especially if you're in that company that I was saying that the speed is everything because the problem with speed is that the only way you can move fast is that you know what you're doing and partly that you know the system so well so that you know what you can do without causing a lot of problems because as you can imagine if you have such a code base every, and everybody's hacking everything together every, uh, the fact that something works basically comes down to how much you can remember 
of how the system is supposed to be working because there are no there are no tests and most people most will probably not even know all that much about every feature that is there some some of them will know that this kind of works but they don't know how it works and why it works so by creating this buddy or this person that you have to ask for, to ask for help and all of that stuff you actually increases your your likelihood of stand is of staying at that company by quite 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 a lot so either if, if if you have like good social skills or something like that you will have to use those if you don't have social skills get a bowl of nuts or small candies or something like that put that on your desk and whenever and whenever somebody comes by your desk offer them some candy so that you can do some small talk try to have lunch with your coworkers or something like that if it's not weird in your region i know there might be a culture difference here here in my country or everybody lunches together with everybody like that's just a rule pretty much we don't eat lunch alone and that means that we get natural conversations going with each other and we get invested in each other's lives to to a certain degree and that's exactly the sort of comfort and rapport you need with senior experiences when you are learning how to work within a new environment so what i want you to take away from this is that when you are settling in as an, in a new role as a junior developer it is vital for you to befriend a few domain experts that now are invested in the fact that things are going to turn out well for you at that company they're going to help you with answering questions and they actually like to have you around the reason why this is so important is because in the beginning of things you need to ask a lot of questions and especially in an environment where things are much more fast moving than in other companies you're gonna have to ask quite quite a lot of questions because basically your survival at that company comes from the perception of other people and that's the key thing here perception is is subjective so you may be doing really really well and do all the thing all the right things in one company and in another company they think you're absolute shit because you can't adjust to their environment and the easiest way to adjust to a new environment is to get someone who actually all is already surviving in that environment to show you the ropes how to do this and then try to follow along as best as you can have a great day